Hello, what is up guys? In this video I'm going to show you how to layer a progressive house leads properly or at least the way I do it. So first I'm going to go through the arrangement so that you know what I'm working with. Then I'm going to walk you through the layers of the sound. Finally I'm going to show you what kind of processing I have on them. But first let's take a look at the playlist here. So I have this progressive house mix there, which is basically the drop without the lead. It sounds like this. Alright, then I have the leads here. And these leads are playing this melody here. They sound like this. Okay, so now let's take a look at the channel rack here. So here you can see that my lead consists of four different layers. This first layer is the so-called main lead. It's in the center and it's the most critical one and driving it through. Then I have lead 2 which is a super saw and that is widening the sound. Then lead 3, which is a synthesized piano, and that is giving some ambience to the sound. Then lead 4, which is another super saw, kind of different from lead 2, and that is to just make it a little bit brighter. Okay, so what kind of processing I have on them? So. On lead 1, I have Destructor, which is distorting the sound. Then I have Parametric EQ 2, which is cutting a little bit the highs away, because they are harsh and bringing bad noises to the sound. Okay, then lead 2. Here I have Parametric EQ 2, which is making a dip somewhere around in 6 kHz where I did a boost in the lead one. And then I have boosted the high end of the sound where I made a dip here. Okay, on lead 3 I have also a parametric EQ2, which is just cutting away the high end of the sound. And finally lead 4, which is EQ'd almost the same as the lead 2. Okay, so that processing was only on the individual layers of the lead, but here in the mixer I have all those four leads here grouped into this so-called lead mix. And in that mix I have used a compressor to glue those sounds together. That compressor really helps to unite the sound and make it sound as like it would be only one sound. Then I have Maximus which is exciting the high end of the sound by using a little bit of saturation there. Then I have Sound Goodizer, which is exciting the sound a little bit more. After that, a Fruity Reverb 2, that helps to widen the sound a little bit more. Then Parametric EQ 2, which I used to cut away the low end of the sound and made a little boost here around 12 kHz. Finally, I have the love filter, which is used to sidechain the sound. Now let's take a look at the sound with and without the processing. So first, without the processing, it sounds like this. Then with the processing, it sounds like this. And now, let's apply that lead to the mix, so get ready for the next progressive housebanger. <laughs> 